It's Monday morning, we have to go to work. No? Walkies? Walkies? Come on. I'm holding on, the form was gone. Come on. Someday I know I'll finally make it through the gates. Just have to wait. You whisper to me. no idea where Tallulah is and I think I'm going to be first to go and this shoot is all about Valentine's but I won't tell you too much because you can wait and watch the final video but I'm just waiting for the setup to get ready and then we'll be filming. You showed me every heart is a fighter time is Lula's not coming with me, Bambi's definitely not coming with me. The non-model that didn't make the cut this morning, Gigi Bams. You'll make it when you're older. And we're gonna, I'm not ready to, oh it's the, um, can I tell you? I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say like what it is, but I'll just have to make sure that this comes out after. So it's gonna be the new birthstones for the new Pandora collection. So, and I'm gonna be meeting someone that's gonna tell me all about my birthstone, my birth time, my birth date. So I'm really looking forward to what I'm gonna find out. So I thought it'd be really interesting if I film today and film what's going on. Laying in your bed, fighting ghosts in my head. Wish that I could let you go. I just so today. Oh, I'm so tired, and I hate starting and ending the video. So let me apologise first of all for this, the lighting and the mess that I'm in. If you could just see what I am looking at now, I'm in my flat in London, and it is a mess. I have no bed. I have. No, like none, anything, everything in here is not meant to be in here. So I can't film properly. I don't have my ring light here. It's completely dark. It's pitch black outside. So I don't, I look tired. I look orange and whatever. It all looks very terrible, but I just wanted to end this vlog and talk about a little bit of what happened today and what has happened since I finished filming at Pandora. So you saw that I did my filming with New Look. That should be out on Valentine's Day, so I'll definitely be sharing the final project with you. Um, then I went to the Pandora then, and I didn't film the psychics that I saw. I saw one that read my aura, and one that did kind of like a birth reading, because it's all, I've got the ring on here actually now. So the light is so horrendous that I don't think it's going to pick that up. I really want you to see it. 
So, I mean, you saw it in the video, and I've also got the earrings in here. I'm really sorry that this is probably not crisp, and it's dark, but it's better than nothing, and it's only temporary. So, the psychic readings blew my mind, and I really believe in this kind of spiritualness, so I, I personally didn't feel comfortable filming it, because... I just didn't want her to say anything personal, even if I put music over, I thought that it would affect it, so I chose not to film it, and I'm also not going to share what they said, but it was spot on. I feel like, it's, I understand if some people don't believe in this, and it's not something I do on a, on a regular occasion, but when I do do it, I think it's really good if you're on a crossroad, or you have a problem, or if like me, like for once in my life, I feel like I know what I'm doing and I feel happy, it's kind of certified or what I was thinking. So that was unreal. I really like the idea of a birthstone. So mine is the sapphire, which is a navy colour. And not to get too deep, but my aunt passed away and we were very similar and we had the same birthstone, the same similar birthdays, and she gave me her birth ring. Uh, she left it to me and although I cherish it, it's too emotional for me to wear it. So for me, having a birthstone ring is um, it's a really nice thing for me and it's going to remind me a lot when I wear it. And it's really nice that I have the earrings. So stay tuned to see more of that on my Instagram and I'll share when that's available to buy um, because I'm not sure if it's available to buy yet. So that was that. Then, if you'd watch my Dior unboxing, I'll leave that link below, you will know that on Saturday night, my car nearly got broken into, well, it was attempted to be broken into, why I was in there with my new bags and everything, and you can see that in the last video. So that was quite emotional for me, like I was really emotional afterwards. The psychic reading was kind of emotional. Then when I got home from Pandora, I had to, uh, the police came here because I had to do a report about what happened. That wasn't emotional, but you know, it wasn't every day that I had the police in my house. My neighbours probably think I'm a criminal. Then I go to McDonald's, so quite embarrassed about sharing this, and I was literally sitting in the corner. I felt so like, in, not, not the word embarrassed, but have you ever been into McDonald's and thought, oh yeah, I fancy a cheeky little McDonald's. I was tired, I couldn't be bothered to cook, I was on my own. Um, and me and Paris are still together, by the way. It's just that sometimes he's working and I'm working and we're in different places. So again, today I'm on my own. Um, so I just had like a cheeky little McDonald's. And I was sitting there and I, I felt... I was just sitting there eating my McDonald's on my own. It was quite... It feels like a weird feeling. You understand what I mean when you're in McDonald's on your own. I don't mind going anywhere else on my own except for McDonald's or any fast food place. I feel like a big greedy pig that shouldn't be there. So I was just enjoying my McDonald's and I saw, it wasn't like, it wasn't a fight that was horrific, but these five guys, like I didn't judge them when they came in, like they happened to just look like a similar vibe to the guys that tried to break into my car, you know, hoods up, baggy jeans, but I wasn't going to stereotype, didn't think nothing of it when they come in. If I have a son and he wants to wear a hoodie and baggy jeans, I wouldn't mind, so didn't think nothing of it. And they ended up starting a fight with one of the guys that worked there. And I, he actually, the guy caught my eye when I was ordering my, my McDonald's. He just looked like a really nice, just had like a nice friendly face. And he looked quite shy and timid. And he just caught my eye for that reason. So the fact that they started a fight with him, it honestly broke my heart to see it. It was horrible. I was so close. I was right there. I was so close to getting up. And, but you know when it's serious, you just don't know what to do. And... Lots of other people were in front of me and they stopped it, but that was horrible to watch. I hate anything like that. Then um, I saw a car crash, like about a man that was 105 years old with his little wife. I was so horrible, I couldn't even do anything about it because I was in my car and they were driving on a one way and then I was in a tunnel. That was horrific. So quite frankly, I feel like I've had an emotional two days. But at the end of it, nothing bad has happened and... You know, I guess that's just life, so. Yeah, that's me, and I feel drained. I feel so tired. So anyway, I had my McDonald's. Um, I'm staying in London because I have an event tomorrow with Vestia Collective, which I'm really excited about because it's January. I'm thinking about, it's all about detoxing your wardrobe, so I'm going to be talking to them about detoxing my wardrobe, which I'm really excited to do. So please stay tuned for this because a lot of you have been asking me when I'm next at Batsy Bootsal or sending on Deep Top. 
Depop. I haven't sold anything for quite a while and I have accumulated some designer pieces and I think I'll sell some things myself like on Depop and then I'm going to test out Vestier and see how that goes so well depending how it goes tomorrow stay tuned and that will be in the next vlog because I'm going to be vlogging tomorrow vlogging the detox event and then I'm going to sit down and share with you some bits that I'm selling so stay tuned for that one I then popped in Marks and Spencers to buy some biscuits and I saw, actually, I've literally got it here. So, seeing as I've got, no, I've literally got this space in my hat flat and that's it. So, this wasn't going to be a Marks and Spencer haul. It's also a Sainsbury's haul. Switch off now if you're already bored. But, I went to Marks and Spencer's to buy biscuits. And that's the size bag I came out with. Such a woman, aren't I? So, first of all, I went to Sainsbury's and I bought Closer magazine. I love all these kind of magazines, like gossip magazines. I then bought some Jaffa cakes, which I was eating on the way home. This is again from Sainsbury's. I'm not sure if you're interested in my food shop, but I'm going to show you anyway. Custard creams, which I was a little bit disappointed with because I love cheap biscuits and I love the like the tea biscuits with chocolate chip, but they didn't have them, so I've had to go for custard creams. Soy milk, because I've always got to have a carton of that. And then now, this coat. So I saw this coat before December and uh, I just didn't buy it and I just saw it randomly on the side on the 70% off as I've lifted it up to you it has got a big dirty black mark on the back that was a nice surprise I'm one of these people that just, just take things to the till and don't even look at it and this won't actually even bother me I'm not very fussy with stuff like this so I can't really show you but it's like a cream robe with black piping and it was 70% off and I paid £35 for it and it was like a hundred oh it only just says that now I think it was £120 something like that and then I bought this new season shirt which is so nice and they had it in baby blue and pinstriped and I really want it so it's just um, a plain shirt but it's got huge cuffs with bows and it's split at the side but it's really long and oversized and really really soft cotton and that's £39.50 oh, I love a white shirt I would want one in every cut there was so much stuff in Marks and Spencers I can't even tell you I'm, I love Marks and Spencers ready to wear I love their I literally had a whole trolley full of stuff and I think it probably would have come to about £600 and I was got so overwhelmed I just put everything back and ended up with those two things but I wanted pyjamas, I wanted knickers, I wanted everything from the Rosie collection I wanted these tracksuit bottoms, I wanted every cashmere jumper and then I just thought Claire you have come in for biscuits and I didn't even get my biscuits so that's why I had to go to Sainsbury's so that's my little haul, bit of a random one Oh, I bought another one of these as well, Philip Kinsey. I always buy them from Marks and Spencers or John Lewis. So I'm going to put that on my hair tonight because I think it needs it. Sorry if this is blurry. I'm so tired and there's nothing I can do. So I'm sure you'll forgive me just this once. So I think that was all I was going to tell you. I'm probably going to turn this off and, and remember, but I promise I'm not going to drag this on anymore. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Because I'm new to YouTube, please do let me know if you like this kind of thing um, or if there's anything that you'd prefer me to do. I'm so open to feedback or constructive criticism, not trolley criticism, constructive criticism. And um, I, think that, I think that's it really. So that was today. I'm going to be vlogging tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed the duo unboxing. Um, yeah, and I think that's it. I, do, I get so awkward at the end of these videos because I hate being like, hi guys, bye guys. So I just end up doing this. Could we get this back?